What if I told you the early universe looked much like it does today? Would you believe it? The Webb telescope has peered deep into cosmic history and uncovered galaxies so well formed that they challenge everything we thought we knew. The James Webb Space Telescope is a product of decades of hard work from scientists around the world. I have been waiting my entire astronomy career for JWST. It is absolutely revolutionary compared to what was available. Instead of a dark, empty cosmos slowly giving rise to the first stars, Webb reveals a universe that was already bustling with fully developed galaxies during what we once called the Dark Ages. This discovery shakes the foundations of modern astronomy. A single web image has overturned long-held assumptions, showing galaxies so ancient they should not exist, according to current theory. Scientists are now rigorously testing the data, asking whether these really are galaxies, whether the instruments worked as expected, and whether the redshift measurements could be mistaken. So far, Webb's performance is flawless, and the age of these galaxies has been independently confirmed. The implications are staggering. Some of these galaxies date back 13.5 to 13.6 billion years, placing them squarely within the supposed Dark Ages, when the cosmos should have contained only simple star clusters. Instead, researchers are finding large, complex galaxies, complete with familiar shapes and structures. If confirmed, this suggests that galaxies as mature as those we see today were already commonplace just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. And Webb has only sampled a tiny patch of sky. If these results hold true, the early universe may have been filled with as many galaxies as we observe now, meaning the cosmic landscape 13.6 billion years ago looked strikingly similar to today's. For scientists who viewed the Big Bang model as untouchable, this is a shock. Some cling to the hope that only our ideas about star formation are flawed, not the Big Bang itself. But with every new web observation, that hope fades. If galaxies with redshifts as high as 20 truly exist, they would lie so close to the supposed beginning of time that current theories of cosmic expansion would be untenable. If Webb's findings are validated, they raise profound questions. Does the universe really have a beginning? Have we misunderstood light itself? Could our calculations be wrong because we assume the universe is closed rather than infinite? Or is there some overlooked detail in our physics that has led us astray? Far from being a dead end, this potential crisis could mark a turning point, an opening into entirely new dimensions of space science and physics. Imagine we've overlooked an unknown force, or that the truth lies hidden in the strange world of subatomic particles, now forcing us to revisit old assumptions because our explanations are failing. It may sound radical, but only a few centuries ago, people believed Earth was the center of the universe until a crisis in thought gave rise to a whole new worldview. Something similar may be happening again. For decades, we believed the universe had a definite beginning, yet evidence from the Webb telescope is making the idea of an infinite universe seem increasingly plausible. This is unsettling for some scientists, but for others, it's exhilarating, an invitation to rethink cosmology with fresh ideas. While traditionalists continue searching for ways to preserve the Big Bang model, more adventurous researchers are already uncovering findings that point toward new frameworks. A team led by Joel Ledger at Penn Penn State University, recently examined the light signals from the oldest galaxies visible in Webb's images. Their analysis suggests the universe may not be as young as we thought. Webb's instruments can dissect ancient light into its component wavelengths, revealing the chemical fingerprints of distant galaxies. According to Big Bang Theory, the early cosmos should have been dominated by light elements like hydrogen and helium, with heavier elements such as carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen appearing only after the first massive of stars exploded in supernovae. But Webb has found that galaxies close to the supposed dawn of time already contained heavy elements. This suggests these galaxies weren't newborns after all. They were already between 4 and 8 billion years old when their light began its journey to us. That would place their origins far earlier than the assumed Big Bang. At first glance, one might argue the Big Bang simply happened earlier than thought. But it isn't that simple. Our cosmological models are deeply interwoven, a chain of analogies rooted in Einstein's theory of relativity. If observations don't fit these calculations, the entire framework risks collapse. 
Webb's discoveries are beginning to tug at the threads of this carefully built structure. For many researchers, this feels like realizing a house you spent decades building is far less stable than you believed. Yet this is the essence of science. Theories hold only as long as they match real evidence. The Big Bang itself has never been observed, only inferred from indirect signals, like the cosmic microwave background, widely regarded as its echo. Until Webb, we assumed the cosmic microwave background and redshift measurements supported a universe that was smooth, uniform, and expanding from a single origin point. But now, Webb is capturing light that has traveled for 13.6 to 13.7 billion years, showing galaxies where there should have only been darkness. These blurred patches of light, interpreted by sophisticated software, could be galaxies or in some cases, giant accretion disks around black holes. The data are not always unambiguous, which leaves room for debate. This situation isn't without precedent. A century ago, Edwin Hubble observed distant galaxies moving away from us, leading to the idea of an expanding universe. We know that the universe is expanding. We've known that for almost 100 years. Uh, the rate at which the universe expands is a number we refer to as the Hubble constant. When Hubble was launched, one of its main objectives was to measure the Hubble constant, the expansion rate of the universe, by resolving individual stars in distant galaxies. Later, in the 1980s, the theory of inflation was added, suggesting the universe underwent a burst of exponential expansion right after the Big Bang, creating the large-scale uniformity we see in the cosmic microwave background. But now, more and more evidence points to matter being far less evenly distributed across space than these models predict. In short, Webb is forcing us to question the foundations of modern cosmology. Whether this leads to refinements of existing theories or a radical new paradigm remains to be seen. But history suggests crises like this often pave the way to deeper truths. It's possible that we're facing yet another error of interpretation, another scientific house of cards on the verge of collapse. Edwin Hubble himself may have misread the evidence or miscalculated, which would mean the very foundation of the Big Bang and cosmic expansion was flawed from the start. Stay tuned and subscribe to catch every new video as we explore these groundbreaking revelations.